hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing my face for the very first time hi welcome you're watching life with adabeke please let me know in the comments what made you click how you found my video you know what brought you to the channel um if you're one of my returners welcome back welcome 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 back as you can see i have someone else here with me hi this is one of my classmates, one of my friends, we're in the same class, we're in the same med school. Her name is Muno. She's going to introduce herself more, you know, she's going to let us know who she is more. Uh, I mean, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Hi, everyone. My name is Minu. I'm in the same uh, medical school class as Adora, and I'm really excited to talk to you guys today. Yeah. Are going to be talking about something I've mentioned maybe in passing but I felt like you know it's not something I went through it's not an experience I had so I was like let me find somebody who has this experience for you guys so that you can hear about it like from the horse's mouth so today you're going to find out how to get into medical school straight from high school yes you had to hear from me you know <laughs> I always talk about how, you know, med school is a graduate degree, it's a graduate, and it's true, it is a graduate degree, but some people like me knew were able to hack it in such a way that they were able to get into medical school straight from high school. So she's going to explain to you, she's going to talk to you all about her experience. I'm going to ask her a few questions. And if at any point you have questions, please be sure to put them in the comments. Please be sure to like this video, share and subscribe and let everybody know that you can get into medical school straight from high school in the US. You just need to do a few things. Okay. Okay. How did you find out about like BSMD programs like in high school? How did you find out about them? So I actually have an older sister mm -hmm. um, and she's currently a PGY2 emergency medicine resident. So for those who don't know, she's, that means she's a res second year resident. Yeah, so she actually went through the whole BSMD um, application process and she's four years older than me. Okay. So she's the one who introduced me to the idea that you could get into medical school through high school. So, you know, having an older sibling is sometimes a perk because they just pass on all their knowledge to you. So, um, when she graduated high school, I was just entering high school. Mm -hmm. So, it was always in the back of my head, like, you could oh, do this. like, going into high school, you know, as early as, like, 13, 14, I knew that that option was available to me if I, like... If I like, you know, catered my application throughout high school cool. to reflect the fact that I wanted to do a program like that. So you went to Stony Brook, you know, Stony Brook's BSMD program, but were there some other like BSMD programs that you applied to as well? Yeah, so I applied to 10 BSMD programs. Um, and so the ones that I remember were the ones that were linked to Albany Medical College. Mm -hmm. So the affiliated undergraduate colleges were Union College, Siena, and um, RPI. Okay. And they're all upstate New York. Um, there are also a lot of like other high profile schools that are linked to um, affiliated medical schools. Like Brown has one called PLME, PLME. Um, there's one affiliated with Boston University. There's one affiliated with George Washington University. So um, there are a lot, especially in the Northeast. So if you go to high school up in the Northeast and you want to get into medical school early, you should definitely look into it because there are a lot of options here. So what I'm hearing is that like, and it's not necessarily that this high, um, the undergrad that you go to is has a med school. It's just linked to a med school. So even if like Stony, it might not have been Stony Brook, but maybe a mm -hmm. school a, a undergrad that had a Stony Brook linkage, if that makes right. sense. Right. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily that, oh, like the undergrads that you were applying to had med schools themselves. No, no, nothing like that. In fact, like Union, Siena, and RPI are like different locations and like they aren't really affiliated with Albany Medical College like in any other way, way I feel. Except that linkage. Except so, that, yeah. What were some things that you had to do in high school to like cater your application for your application to be able to get into a BSMD program? So you have to be really convincing because <laughs> uh, 
how can like you know like somebody in the admissions office they're like how can a 17 year old really know that they want to go into <laughs> medical school because it's a big ask because if you get into a program like this you're virtually saying oh yeah i know what i want to do for the next seven to eight years of my life um so you have to paint a very convincing picture in terms of um why you believe um that you're fit for medical school so some things that i did were i volunteered for four years at um the hospital so that's four years that i did that and you know for somebody in the admissions office if they look at that they're like okay wow she did this for four years it wasn't something that she just did like a few months before she applied because she found out about you know the, the program, program yeah right so i did that for four years um i also did a lot of other non-hospital related volunteering as well um and i also did other things that were outside of medicine like i was on my varsity cross country team i was in my orchestra i played the flute um, and, but I also did research in high school oh. too, and I think that's what that was my selling point, especially for yeah, Stony Brook. Oh, okay, so yeah, because Stony, Stony Brook, Brook is, is a research, research school, yeah. and that was mentioned in my BSMD interview as well. So I think if anything, that was like the major pull for Stony Brook to accept me. So what I'm hearing, and what like it seems like she wants you guys to know is that if a BSMD program is something on your radar. You kind of have to be doing the same thing that we ask the undergrads to do, but you're mm -hmm. doing it at a high school level. So you're still trying to get a well-rounded application. You're still trying to volunteer. You're still trying to get like clinical experience. You're still trying to get even research. Like you're still trying to get all those same things. You're just doing it at high school. And obviously it's, it might look different mm -hmm. because it might not be like, you might not ha have the same like, commitment research right like they, they won't ask of a high school like the same thing they might ask of an right, undergrad right. but you are still involved in that research you're still showing mm -hmm. that commitment Absolutely. so it's obviously like still important see like you mentioned having an interview right? right and that's not something that's common for you know going into undergrad so how was that interview like like the bsmd interview okay so out of the 10 programs that applied to i got interviews for three of them mm -hmm. so all three of them were different. So for one of them, it was a group interview. So they put you in a room with all the other applicants. And it was just this one professor that was just asking, like, question, like, line, like, one by one, just asking <laughs> us, like, a question. And my question was, like, oh, which do you think is um, less expensive, going to the urgent care or going to the emergency room? And I was like, oh, no, I have no idea. I said, oh, and I said emergency room. <laughs> but, yeah, with, which is not true. Going to the urgent care is less expensive. But, yeah, like, it was, there was one interview that was a group setting. The other one was one-on-one, -on -one, and Stony Brook was one-on-one -on -one with um, a faculty member, and then I knew other applicants there that were interviewing with the medical students Student. as well. So um, that was another format, and then, then there's another format where it was just me with four other faculty uh, that were just asking me questions. So that was the other school, so yeah. <laughs> very different formats for all three that's crazy. so i would say like you know one of the things is like grades so you know if you're applying like regularly you want to make sure you have like a good gpa you want to make sure your mcat score but obviously in high school you don't have an mcat score you don't have like do you guys have do you have gpas though but not we an do. mcat score but so no. how were you able to be competitive academically yeah, so to get into one of these programs, especially the ones affiliated with um, MD schools, you have to definitely score high on the SAT or ACT for sure, and also take the subject tests. Oh, so they required you to actually take the subject tests? Some of them did. Some of them, okay. Yeah, some of them did. And also you had to do well you had to have a very high GPA too. Okay, so what do you, do you remember? I know this was a long time ago, but do you remember yeah. what was considered like a a high SAT or subject test yeah, score? Yeah, so I think anything above 90th percentile was um, what a lot of schools GPA. set their benchmark at. Okay. Um, that and then GPA definitely like, you know, 90% and above. And then SAT subject test, I think they prefer to see something 
um, greater than 650, 650 to 800 range. Okay, so you still want, like, it's all these things. It's, it's like, it's as if I'm t talking to you about, like, applying from undergrad, but it's like you're doing it from high school. So you still want good grades, you still want the good test scores, and you still want the good extracurriculars. I know when I applied to undergrad, I applied through Common App. Mm -hmm. So was it? Did you also apply for the BSMD programs through Common App, or did they have a separate like application portal? Yeah. So some of them did accept all of the application materials through Common App. Um, others you had to um, separately mail in documents, but this was back in 2017, so it's been a minute. Um, but yeah, I think most of them now take all of their um, application materials through Common App or through some web portal. Okay, so you would you would still kind of be applying the way you would apply, like if you were applying to mm -hmm. undergrad regularly. So that's a little bit about the actual what application. Was the, uh, your BSMD, like the BS part of it, um, like. Yeah, so I went to Stony Brook for four years, so... The BSMD program at Stony Brook is um, your traditional eight years, so they didn't shorten it at all. Um, so even if you did um, graduate in three years, they still wouldn't let you into the medical school early. You oh, really? You have to wait your turn, oh. um, you know, based off of what year you were slotted Starting. to mm -hmm. enter with. So for Stony Brook, I'm going to definitely sell it. I thought it was a really great <laughs> program because... Some BSMD programs, they require you to major in biology or whatever. Um, but Stony Brook, you could major in anything as long as you got the prereqs down, which okay. was good. I had friends who majored in sociology, women's studies, um, really mm -hmm. took that flexibility to major in something that was outside of medicine that they had an interest in. So definitely appreciated that about Stony Brook. Um, and yeah, I took advantage of that too. I mean, I still ended up doing biology and neuroscience because <laughs> <laughs> that was my interest. Right. Um, but I did minor in journalism and I did a lot of things writing for my campus newspaper and getting involved with internships that were related to public relations and communications and journalism. So I really took that opportunity. Yeah. And uh, she mentioned that Stony Brook is eight years. I know that there's some schools that the BSMD program is like six years. So like you would only do the first two years. And in that first two years, you do all your mm -hmm. uh, prereqs. Um, and then you just matriculate into med school. Also heard like some programs do have like GPA requirements. Did Stony Brook have that? Like were you required to maintain a certain mm -hmm. GPA? Yeah, so I believe we had to maintain like a 3.2 science GPA and 3.5 overall. Okay, so you, even though you're in, you still, like, there's still a level of academic rigor that is ex expected Did from you. you have to take the MCAT? Yes. Oh. I did have to take the MCAT. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did have to take the MCAT. I had to score above um, 70th percentile. Okay. Wow. Like, is that, do you know if that's, like, just a Stony Brook thing? Or do you know if that's, like, a lot of, like, BSMD programs still require you to take the MCAT? Yeah, I think they still do. For example, there is a program affiliated with SUNY Downstate in Brooklyn, and I know that their MCAT cutoff is even higher. Wow. So, it's like a rite of passage. I don't think it's a bad thing, you know, if all of your classmates, you know, have done so much to get to where they are, like, you also kind of want to... Make feel sure like you... okay i didn't get any free passes i guess even though i did but <laughs> you know at least i went through like it's this, as yeah. hard as the mcat as everybody so else. i think the idea is that they still want to justify that you meet the academic rigor that everyone else is meeting like yeah you know you did have to meet some kind of academic rigor at like the high school stage mm -hmm. but they still want to make sure that you didn't just come to college and then slack like so what would you say was the biggest advantage of doing a BSMD? Biggest advantage was just having that flexibility to pursue other things other than medicine in those four years before medical school because medical school is very time consuming and exhausting and you know the hobbies that you know you want to pursue you might not have the same time as you would in undergrad. So just having that flexibility really allowed me to just dig into other areas of my life. 
yeah. on a sort of, I know, I mean, sometimes as a pre med, you're just trying to, you know, prove yourself and everything medicine related to be like, yes, please take me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're like, I already got in, I can chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's getting really hard to get into medical school if you're in high school and you have like, you know, at least like a 90% chance that you want to do it, just apply. And if you change your mind down the line, I mean, you can still do that. Oh, so were there people that like dropped out of the BSMD program? So our class was 10. Mm -hmm. So I think that we had a thousand applications that cycle and 10 of us were selected. And of those 10, one went off to, I think, Yale to pursue his MD, PhD. Oh, okay. So he, he still did, wanted to go to med school, just not at Stony Brook. Yeah, yeah, not at Stony Brook, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went to Yale, MD, PhD. So, yeah. And then the other one, I think he just decided that um, he wanted to pursue something else okay. for medical school. Okay. So you had a free pass and decided to go somewhere else. You're lucky you got in, though. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. But what will you say was maybe a big disadvantage uh, of doing an MD, BSMD. Okay, I think the one disadvantage, I mean, if there are any, um, it's just that, you know, you are making that decision as a high schooler. So a traditional pre-med really goes through this whole, like, you know, soul-searching experience where they're doing all these things and really trying to affirm to themselves that, yes, this is the right thing to do. But if you get like a, you know, like a free pass in college, you might not do the same soul searching and you're left with the decision that you made as a 17 year old and you may not have the same, you know, decision, you know, the life affirm, like you know, those experiences that affirm, you know, that decision. So yeah. I think that's that. Yeah, it's like you, everybody else had to really dig deep you know, as an as a adult, mm -hmm. whether this was what they wanted to do, but you had to do that soul searching as like a kid. So right. it's like maybe that decision has changed, but you feel stuck. Mm -hmm. it, and if, if, if it does change for you, then it's like, okay, what am I supposed to do now kind of situation. Right. But any last words for our high schoolers or anybody who, you know, is interested in medicine and is trying to figure out what they want to do? Yeah, I would say like medicine is really a beautiful career um, and that yes, it is very, very difficult, <laughs> very difficult, but at the end of the day, like, you know, it's a constant process of like trying to one up yourself in terms of like how much better you can do and it's like a really great career path for those who are interested in the sciences, interested in really using the sciences to really better um, people's lives so if you as a high school student if you really know that you want to do that definitely look into these programs definitely ask a lot of people definitely shadow and um, do research volunteer um, dig deep and see if this is something that you want to do and if you happen to make the right decision um, applying to a program like this and getting in will really make your life easier in the long run yeah, so you guys heard Minu, BSMD all the way. I totally support BSMD because I feel like it takes a lot of the the hickey haga of the application process. You just know you've done it and like you can move on. And it's probably like the application process is probably cheaper because you're just applying into right. undergrad versus when you're applying into, you know, med school is more expensive. And so if you already know if you're someone like me, actually, who knew I wanted to go to med school, but didn't know anything about BSMD programs um, from high school consider them look into them look into some around your state it might not necessarily be as a school with a med school but it might be at a school that's affiliated with a med school so look into them google them and if that's something you're interested in go for it and till the next time i see you guys i remain your girl adabeke okay bye bye mm.